This conference will now be recorded. Oh, hello everyone, I'm Srinivas. Uh, I'm the trainer for this SPI protocol and SPI controller design and verification course. And I'm also the founder of VLS Seguru Institute. Uh, as part of this course, uh, we will be uh, learning three aspects of the SPI. So one will be first, will be focused on learning the SPI protocol. The, it includes learning the SPI based system architecture, the components, masters and slaves and how they are connected and the signals that are used to connect SPI, uh, master and slaves and the timing diagrams. Uh, and uh, for, from a beginner perspective, this is a very important protocol to start with because uh, for any beginner, you cannot start off with learning a very complex protocol. You have to start from the basics. So SPI is one such protocol where you get to explore everything like uh, you get to explore what is meant by architecture. You get to explore what all components are there. You get to understand what is meant by a master, what is meant by a slave, what we mean by a transaction, or what is meant by a timing diagram. All these things can be learned at a much simpler level in AXA, uh, sorry, SPA protocol. Once you have learned SPA protocol, then you can move on to other complex protocols. It could be like uh, Ethernet protocol, it could be PCI protocol. But before learning those kind of complex protocol, it's always good to learn some basic protocols like SPA. So that will be the first thing we are going to cover. The second aspect that we are going to cover as part of the course will be the SPI controller design and verification. So as part of that, we'll be implementing the Verilog RTL coding for SPI controller. The uh, controller having two interfaces. On one side, it has got APB interface. On one side, it has got SPI slave interface. So here we are going to connect the, uh, the processor specific test bench as part of the verification. And here we are going to connect the SPI slave. So this is the RTL we are going to develop. It will have some address register array, data register array, control registers. So the APB will be used to configure these registers. And based on the configuration of these registers, the transfers happen between the SPI master and SPI slave. So all those aspects will be doing as part of this. So as part of the second activity, we'll be doing Verilog RTL coding for SPI controller. And we'll also be developing the Verilog test bench for the SPI controller. So then comes the third part. As part of the third part, will be doing SPI controller, SV and UVM based test bench development. In the previous, we have used Verilog. Here we are going to use system Verilog and UVM based test bench development. Uh, this, uh, from a fresher perspective, again, this will be a good project for you to start with. Why is it good project? Because we are talking about a design which has got two interfaces and the protocol is quite simple. So uh, when you do this kind of projects, you will be focusing more on SV and UVM learning rather than getting yourself lost in the protocol complexity so here the protocol won't be much complex it would be more like you program the registers and based on that programming the data transfers happen between master and slave so with this simplicity this much simple design so we will be getting more uh, time i mean more opportunity to better opportunity to explore system verilog and uvm test bench coding concepts and as part of this, we'll also be developing some write and read test cases where we this test case will involve writing of SPA slave and reading the SPA slave registers. And you will also get to learn how sequence are developed, how the test cases are developed, how they are mapped. All those aspects will be covered as part of this course. 